Guys, I have a confession to make. I have not uploaded an Instagram Reels video in a long time and that has led to me unintentionally hoarding a lot of information, a lot of tips, tricks, hacks that will really help you explode the performance of your Reels. So first of all, my apologies, I won't ever do it again, but I'm making up for that by dedicating this entire video to me sharing all of my top tips, tricks and hacks. So get a pen and paper because it's going to be a detailed video. Also, if you're new here, then hi, my name's Jade, lovely to meet you. Please hit the subscribe button because I upload content just like this every single week. Let's get to it. Okay, so can we all just decide to collectively ignore that wonky photo? Please and thank you, I will fix it eventually. Just give me, just give me a second. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the quality of your reels and this is super super important because Instagram's algorithms will actually look at the quality of your reel when it's trying to decide whether or not it's going to share your reel and have it blow up and be seen by thousands and thousands of people okay. It will actually look at how high quality your reel is which might sound like bad news to you because you might be suffering from a very common problem which is that the quality of your reels are trash. <laughs> I've been there, okay? This is not me passing judgment. There are ways to fix this though, fear not. So there's two things that you wanna do which will drastically improve the quality of your reels. The first thing is that you want to shoot your reels in 4K right? You do not want to shoot your reels in HD because Instagram reels does not support HD as well as it does support 4k videos. So that is what you want to shoot in. Make sure you do that every single time you go to capture content. The second thing you want to want to do, and this is going to blow your mind if you didn't know that this setting existed, there's an actual setting on your Instagram that you have to turn on if you want a high quality upload. I mean, who doesn't want high quality uploads? Like, why would I ever want that to be off? But there's a setting and I'll show you how to find it. So you wanna get your Instagram page open and you wanna to head to the settings button on the top right hand corner. From there, you wanna click on account. You then wanna click on data usage and you can see that little toggle which says turn on high quality uploads. Now, please be aware that it may take a little bit longer for your reels to upload, but I mean, that is a small price to pay if it means that our reels are gonna start looking super sharp and crisp, etc. So that is what you wanna do. Shoot in 4K and turn on that toggle and the quality of your reels will drastically improve. So next up, I like to call this tip the replay method. You know I like to give names to random things for absolutely no reason, it brings me joy. I'm calling this one the replay method. <laughs> now, let me give you some context. Another signal that Instagram's algorithms will look at when it's trying to decide whether or not it's gonna push your reel to the high heavens is how long people watched your reel for, but also whether or not people were re-watching your reel. Here's the reason why. Instagram's sole purpose is to keep people on their platform for as long as possible, which by the way is every social media platform's sole purpose, right? So anytime you can demonstrate to Instagram that you are keeping people on their platform for longer because people are re-watching your reel over and over again, that is going to help you get in their good books and get your content pushed out to so many more people. Now, there's a way that we can trigger this, right? And this is where the replay method comes in. Essentially, what this method entails is you including a lot of valuable information in one reel very quickly so that people want to re-watch it or have to pause the reel in order to read all the text or you know absorb all the information on the screen. You've probably seen this done before but potentially in a way that's a bit jarring. There is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. So like the wrong way is when people put loads and loads of text on the screen like so someone's saying the top 10 places to visit in London and then they put loads of text on the screen really really quickly and then it all disappears and they know for a fact that no one was able to read that. That's when people are using that in a slightly frustrating way. What you want to do is do something similar where you're putting a lot of text or a lot of value, maybe you're changing outfits a lot, whatever the value is that your content provides through your reels, you want to make sure that you're stacking a lot of that in a short period of time so that people feel the need to re-watch it or pause it to really absorb what you're saying. You don't want to do it in a way where it's impossible to read all at once, we're not trying to trick people here. You just want to do it in a way where if someone was really interested in what you were sharing, they would need to re-watch it or they would need to engage with it a little bit more to truly get the most amount of value from that reel, okay? That that is the replay method because that is what triggers people to continuously replay and re-watch your videos. So let's talk about captions, but specifically advanced captions. 
I really do love to fluff things up, don't I? So let's talk about advanced captions on your Reels. I'm talking about the text what appears on your screen that allows people who do not have their volume turned on or who have hearing difficulties to read what you're saying in your Reel. So it goes without saying that having some form of captions on your Reel are very, very important, right? For those two reasons that I just mentioned. Sometimes people don't have the sound on and also some people have issues with hearing. So you want everyone to be able to engage with your Reel and know what it is that's being said. So that's the main thing I want to get out of the way. Now you can add a caption sticker to your reels, which is super easy. I'll put a screen recording here so you can see how it's done. And that's great. However, to take it one step further, you want to pay attention to the type of captions that are appearing on your screen. So the most standard format are the ones which are appearing here. And do not get me wrong, I love those ones. I still use that format on my stories from time to time. However, if you scroll along and actually select this form of captions, you'll find that it's actually a lot easier for people to read your captions and follow along with what it is that you're saying when they're watching your content. And the reason why is because with this style of captions, there are multiple words on screen at one time, rather than a word appearing one by one and disappearing quickly. So it just means that people are able to read what you're saying and follow along a lot easier. To take this one step further, you can actually write out your captions yourself. And what this would allow you to do is to ensure that there's a chunk of text on your screen for the right amount of time and that people actually have enough time to read everything you're saying as your content progresses. Progresses. So if we think back to a time where there was no caption sticker, so people used to have to type out what they were saying, you'll actually realize that it was a lot easier to follow along with what was being said when people were typing out what they were saying versus having these captions appear and disappear really quickly on the screen. Another thing you could do to make it even more advanced and even more fancy is to add text to the screen to accentuate certain points. So when you're saying certain things which you would like people's attention to be drawn to, you can add the text to the screen so that it pops up at different times and that will just accentuate some of the things that you're saying and help your messaging land a little bit more. Another thing to flag here, more in regards to the other type of captions. So I'm now talking about your post captions, right? A lot of people will say you don't need to write a caption for your reel or you don't need a long caption for your reel because realistically, when people are browsing their reels, they rarely read the captions. And that is true. People rarely read the captions of your reels. However, I don't agree that that means that you don't have to write a caption at all. A caption is always a great opportunity for you to communicate with your most engaged audience because people will still read your captions and if someone's decided to read your caption, that probably means they're a super engaged follower. So you wanna give them something to read and you wanna make the most of the fact that you have that level of engagement with someone. But also we have to remember that Instagram will actually read your captions and use the text in your captions to try and figure out what your content is about. So if you've written a caption, which does a great job at being engaging, but also describes your content or your niche in some kind of way, there's a chance that Instagram will pick up on that and it will use your caption to really categorize and understand what your content is about. And that's important because when Instagram understands what your content is about, it's a lot more likely to share it with people who would be interested in your content, right? So I'm gonna link to a video up here where I talk about that whole system in a lot more detail because it's really, really interesting and really worth knowing if you're serious about growing on the platform. Okay, so let's move on and talk a bit about hooks. In order for us to really, truly understand how important and how valuable a good hook is in our reel, we need to talk about the fact that our attention spans as human beings are abysmal. Now, I researched for a while trying to find how long our attention spans currently are, and there's so much debate about it online. There's like a bit of beef going on. Some people say it's eight seconds, other people say it's not eight seconds, but then they don't say how long it really is. The point is, our attention spans are super, super, super short, right? And they're even shorter on Instagram. When someone is browsing the reels on their Instagram page, they literally decide whether or not they're going to watch the rest of that reel within seconds of them seeing it. Realistically, we're talking within three seconds of your reel appearing on their Instagram page, and they're gonna decide whether or not they wanna keep on watching. So what do we do to leverage that, right? We make sure that something appears on the screen within the first few seconds of our reel, which grabs our audience's attention and makes them want to continue watching. The easiest way to do this is to put text on your screen within the first few seconds of your reel, and you want that text to say something that will appeal to your audience, right? So for example, this reel here says that I hit 1,000 subscribers in April 2021. I know that my audience full of content creators and entrepreneurs are gonna see that text and think, oh, and then what happened next? Or immediately think, oh, how does she do that, right? Because I know what my audience are interested in and I know that that's gonna grab their attention. So what are your audience interested in and what can you say that is relevant to your reel that will hook them in and persuade them to continue watching your content? It's also worth noting that hooks are also important for your
your captions. So I've got an example of a reel here and at the start of my caption, I wrote, let's talk about money. Again, I knew that this was gonna get some attention. I knew that people would see that and wanna click those little three dots so that they could open up the rest of my caption and read what I had to say in regards to money. So hooks are really relevant across multiple different features on Instagram. But for the sake of today's video, I want you to focus on ensuring that you have a hook within the first few seconds of your reel and also ensuring that the first few words in your captions are also hooking your audience in. Let's talk about trending audio. Now, by now you probably know that if you use an audio that is being used frequently amongst your peers on Instagram, there is a chance that you might end up reaching more people as a result. Why? Well, Instagram knows when an audio is popular. So when other creators use that audio, Instagram clocks onto it and it gives that content a bit of a nudge because in Instagram's eyes, the fact that you're using the audio is a good sign that whatever it is that you've created is probably gonna be well received by an audience because that audio has been used before and people have loved it, right? That's why trending audio is a thing. So how do you find trending audio well there's a simple way and then there's like the slightly more extra way obviously I'm going to tell you both the simple way is to go onto your Instagram head onto a reel and start browsing different reels and keep an eye out for this little arrow mark on the bottom left hand side of the screen because when that arrow is there it means that Instagram has decided that that piece of audio is trending it's on the rise people are using it a lot it's a good one to consider using now another way that you can find trending audio is to listen to the trending audio influence influencers. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what they would like to be referred to as, but I can't think of a better name. But essentially, there are a bunch of creators on Instagram who dedicate a lot of their content to simply sharing which audios are trending and which ones aren't, right? So there are a few creators like that out there. I will try and find a few and I'll put them in the description so you can follow them. But they're also a super useful resource as well. Now, the slightly extra way to find trending audio that I referred to previously is to not only look for audio that's trending because it has that arrow or because a trending audio influencer has told you that it's trending but to specifically look for trending audio that is being used regularly within your niche so this is like one step further because what you'll find is that there's some audios that are used more frequently within your niche than they are within another niche and realistically if you want your reel to blow up or do well you need to make sure that you're using audio that you know is relevant to you your niche but also your audience will like and the best way for you to do that is to try and find trending audio that is being used by other creators within your niche this should be fairly easy you just want to head to your explore page click on the search bar and search in a keyword that is relevant to your niche so I might type in social media marketing and from there I can just browse all the reels which appear and have a look out for some trending audio don't forget that when you find trending audio you just need to click on the audio and click on the save button and that way you can access that audio later when you are creating your reels okay so you've used all of these amazing hacks and now you're getting a really great amount of views and plays on your reels well done I'm so proud of you I never doubted you now there's a new problem though, unfortunately. The problem now is that, yeah, you're getting loads of new people looking at your reels, but no one's following you or they are following you and then they're unfollowing you super quickly. Let me tell you why that's happening. The main reason for this to happen is to do with your content library. So it's actually to do with all of the content that you have shared before you posted that reel. And here's why. If we put ourselves in our audience's shoes, right? And we're browsing on Instagram and we just see a reel pop up that is super relevant to us. It's really high quality and we absolutely love it. One of a few things might happen. We might click on your profile and have a look at your other content. And when that happens, we need to see a library of content that is similar in quality to that reel that we just saw. Because we want to look at your content library and be reassured that you create amazing reels and posts like that on a regular basis. Because if we think that, then we're probably going to follow you because now we're like, oh, well, this person creates content like this all the time. I want to see more of this, right? So that's one thing that might happen. Another thing that might happen when we find your amazing reel is that we might just follow you straight away. We might be like, yes, yeah, sold absolutely love this reel i'm convinced that i'm gonna love everything else that this person shares now if you then proceed to upload a bunch of random content that isn't high quality or isn't related to that reel that we followed you for we're probably going to unfollow you because now we're like hold on who's this person why are they talking about cats i'm a dog person right <laughs> 
we're going to get confused and we're going to be like, oh, I don't know why I'm following this person. I don't actually like their stuff. And that is what leads to the mass unfollowing that some people experience when they post a viral reel. Now, the third thing that might happen is that we do not follow you at all. So we see your amazing reel. We love it. We laugh. We cry. It's like an absolute cinematic masterpiece, but we just keep it moving, right? <laughs> and we don't follow you. Now, if you have a good content library and if you continue to upload high quality content like that, which is related to the same niche, right? The chances are we're gonna see your reel again because we saw it the first time, we may be engaged with it, we probably watched it the whole way through, which means that Instagram's gonna think that we like your content. So there's a big chance that we're gonna see your reel again up on our explore page or somewhere else in the future. Now, I know that we were being a bit stush. Oh my God, I've not used the word stush in ages. Showing my age there, that was like a slang word when I was at school. I know we're being a bit stush and not following you after one reel, but if we see two or three more of your reels and they're all really great quality, and again, they're related to the same niche, we're probably gonna follow you at least at some point. It might take us a few times, we're playing hard to get. We'll follow you eventually, right? So that is how your content library, your past content and your future content will help you convert people into followers when they see your reels. So that's it guys. I finally got all of those reels and hacks that I've been keeping to myself for some reason. I've got them off my chest. My conscious is now clear. <laughs> if you want more in-depth training, I do have a bunch of resources available to you instantly. I will put links and all of the details in the description description but alternatively if you feel like hanging around a little bit more then I do recommend checking out this video it is the first video in my three-part series where I break down Instagram's algorithms plural there are multiple how they work how to utilize them the whole shebang thank you so much for watching as always I can't wait to see you in my next video